and I want to welcome you to my beautiful outdoor set today. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so anyway, I've been talking about Dr. Phil and poor Britney Spears. And so I'm going to talk to you more about that because I find there's some more skeleton in the Dr. Phil closet just as I suspect. Okay, Mr. Horio Dundow. He he went into Britney's room right at the hospital, you know all that. And then he got kicked out. And then the family say, no, he wasn't supposed to go. Okay, he go on TV say, oh, I'm not sorry for what I did. I believe in what I did was right. Okay, he's so full of it, I cannot even take it anymore. It makes me crazy. Okay, so I do a little digging, you know. And I found that Dr. Phil had some problems with a young lady back in 1988. While he was married, he got into a situation with this 19-year-old woman. She was a patient or she was an employee. He gave her a job and she claims they had intimate affair. And he said, oh no, no intimate affair here. Well, those claims from the girl was so intense that he was brought up on ethics charges. And he was on probation with his medical license and he had to take classes on ethics. Well, apparently, it seemed like he must have ditched some classes, right? He cut class because he not being so ethical with the Miss Britney Spears situation, right? Okay, so Dr. Phil has all sorts of problems with what's right, what's wrong, and what's a line in between. Anything that serves him and his rating make it so much better. And even the spokesperson for the family comes out and goes, no, 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 he went way above and beyond what we ever agreed to. Oh, and then he claims, oh, no, we decided not to do the show anymore. Okay, big, you know, don't give me your line of BS anymore, Mr. Dr. Phil. You're only not doing the show because you, number one, you have no permission. Number two, you don't have patience because Britney thinks you stink. And so you can't do it. So you have to backpedal and act like it's your idea. It's not your idea. We all know. We all know you smell real bad. You get in with Miss Oprah, who's a rubbery woman, and you, she must be pissed off at you, Mr. Dr. Phil, because, you know, guilt by association, she doesn't need that from you. So you, Mr. Dr. Phil, should look inside yourself instead of telling people how to look inside themselves. So that's what I have to say. It just got me all crazy one again about Mr. Dr. Phil and poor Miss Brittany. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today on my beautiful outdoor set. I love it so much. What is good for you? Okay, and please join me again soon. And when we come back with some more adventure, I don't know what I do next, but I do something. Okay, bye-bye. All right, thank you so much. Okay, here we go again. What? This is... Okay. This is not my music. I could get a person in a child in a, in a first grade to get this right. This is... I can't... What? I,